This morning, our time of worship is much different than normal, much more contemplative with poems written by Pastor Heather and uh, accompaniment music, soundtrack music composed by me for each of those poems with some worship songs as well. When you live in a place like we do here in rural northwestern Pennsylvania, you realize how blessed you are to be able to see God's beauty like this, especially on days like today in the autumn. As the autumn ends, soon we'll have our first snow. But just look at God's wonder and be amazed knowing that he created all of this for you and because he's in love with you. Thank you. 
I have wandered murky paths, lonely and despairing, my memories of brighter days fading into naught. I have donned a shadowed veil to hide behind, to hide within, until all I saw was my imagined wretched lot. And yet, my faithful God still walked beside me. Though I forgot my hope in Him, He never lost hope in me. And God sent me angels, earthly and from heaven, to hold, to care, to shine their light so brightly I could see. And with my vision restored, I found my hope renewed by the power of everyday wonders and the grace of gentle, loving hearts. Then I caught a glimpse of God's kingdom and all the beauty that it held. I yearned to bring it closer, to make a difference, to do my part. For I have read, and I believe, that like the tiny mustard seed or the yeast mixed with the flour, the kingdom of God will grow until its splendor fills eternity, all suffering forgotten. And though we may not see it now, our hope and faith will make it so. Displaced. Families, children, people in search of safety, in search of life. Millions, tens of millions worldwide, and yet we do not see them, their pain, their need, their humanity. We are blind. Some of us don't want to see them. We fear the unknown, the other, those who aren't white, Christian, straight. We turn ourselves into God, loving only those made in our image. Only they may enter our kingdom, the land our ancestors stole from people long ago displaced. Denial is so much easier. So 
We turn them into living ghosts whom we can pretend do not exist. Only a few have the gift to see them, fewer still the gift to hear. Their stories, their cries, their yearning for a home. Does it cost too much to see, to care? What price do we pay for turning a blind eye to those hidden in plain sight?
Barren, broken branches reaching for the sky. Dead tree of beauty bringing life, stark hope. Awesome, sturdy in its decline. Massive wooden base with myriad leafless fingers seeking God. It stands, solid now, despite imminent decay, stretching up and wearing down. God's plan, life renewed, ending, still reborn, nourishing life to come. Barren, broken branches reaching for the sky.
It all began with a walk along the shore, the sand warm and soothing. Small, gentle waves shushed as they rolled in, and I heard a loving voice call my name and say, Go deeper. So I waded in a little farther, but like a sandpiper, I skittered back to dry land when the incoming water seemed too much. And yet the voice continued, Do not be afraid. I am with you. Go deeper. So I waded in up to my waist, sand and shells shifting beneath my feet. But I still felt in control, a little proud for venturing that far, until I heard, Go deeper. Then I started to question why I should give up my comfort, my safety. I'm happy where I am, half in, close enough to shore to turn back. But the voice, his voice, remained, go deeper. So I began to swim, pulled by a force I could ignore no longer, pulled by the peace of faith, of trust, by the love of my Creator, my Savior. And though I swam far out, I did not tire or weaken, for the strength was not my own, is not my own. And the freedom, the pure joy that flows through me overflows, and I know I need to share it, to reach out to those who do not know his love, his grace, to catch them as they fall into the depths, because the voice still calls to me, go deeper. service today, I will ask you to please bow your heads for a moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for walking with us every day, for your grace, for your guidance, for your healing, for your love. May we reach out to others to share your word and especially that love so that others may know you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.